a lone piper's lament. The flowers of the forest played and the school flag was lowered to half-mast for the first time in almost 50 years. This Highland tribute was the Gordonson School's own way to honour the passing of one of their own. Long before he was a prince or a duke, the young Philip arrived here at Gordonston in September of 1934. He was a 13-year-old child who had a nomadic life across Europe and a troubled upbringing. But it was here at Gordonston in Murray where he says he became a man. He was among the school's first ever pupils, where they still keep a record of his early report cards and reflections from his teachers. The current principal at Gordonston reveals this insight into some of Philip's early misadventures. It, it says that he got into a fair number of scrapes. He was naughty, but never nasty. Uh, and, a, and a great story of how, on his way to seamanship at, Hope, at Hopeman, he was a, quite an enthusiastic cyclist, um, but he narrowly avoided a clash with a baby in a pram because of his cycling prowess. In many respects, the Duke of Edinburgh never fully left Gordonston. I think that's absolutely right. You know, Gordonston was part of the Duke of Edinburgh's life from when he became our 10th pupil in 1934 until just a few weeks ago when I received my most recent letter from him. And last year, we sent him some of our apple juice and our honey, which the students themselves had made. And they were delighted to receive a letter from him saying that when it arrived at Balmoral, it immediately made its way to the breakfast table and was thoroughly enjoyed. At Gordonston, it was the school's founder, Kurt Hahn, who truly inspired Prince Philip with an education that went beyond the classroom. There were early morning runs through the Murray Hills, cold showers and sailing was part of the education here. Philip took the school schooner all the way over to Norway on one trip and Kurt Hahn introduced the young Duke to a life of service at Gordonston that leaves a legacy well beyond these school grounds. This is the origin of the Duke of Edinburgh Award. It's called the Murray Badge and the young Prince Philip was one of its recipients. It was given to pupils here at Gordonston for their voluntary work and services in the local community. And then in 1956, Kurt Hahn convinced Prince Philip to put his name to the award and make it open to young people across the whole country. Ever since, more than three million people have received their Duke of Edinburgh Award. Prince Philip left a presence here. He was cricket captain, hockey captain and school guardian. He thrived so much he decided to send all his children to Gordonston to follow in his footsteps. Here he is dropping off a young Prince Charles to start life at the boarding school, though Charles famously found the physical challenges here quite miserable. The school's latest cricket captain, though, has reaped the benefits of the Duke's bursary to open up this education to a whole new generation. I think in honesty it's life-changing. I think this is such a unique place that if you were to go to any other educational establishment, you wouldn't get the opportunities that you get to do here. Prince Philip said he was at his happiest returning to Scotland's northeast, and many joyful summers with the Queen on the Balmoral estate took him back to childhood memories. Today on the campus he helped build, the Duke of Edinburgh was remembered.